ഔസുബില്ലാഹിമിനശൈതോനിറജീം ബിസ്മില്ലാഹിറഹ്മാനിറഹീം ലാ ജുനാഹ അലൈക്കും ഇൻ തല്ലക്തു മുന്നിസ ആ മാലം തമസ്സൂഹുന്ന മാലം തമസ്സൂഹുന്ന ഔ തഫ്രിഡൂലഹുന്ന ഫരീദത വമത്തെ ഊഹുന്ന വമത്തെ ഊഹുന്ന അലൽ മൂസി ഇ കദറുഹു വ അലൽ മുക്തിരി കദറു മത അംബിൽ മാറൂഫ് ഹക്കൻ അലൽ മോഹ്സിനീൻ ഡിയർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് അസ്സാം വലൈക്കും വരഹമത്തുല്ലാ വബർക്കാത്തു ഐ റിസൈറ്റഡ് സൂറത്തുൽ ബക്ര ആയത്ത് നമ്പർ ടു ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ആയത്ത് അല്ലാ ടെൽസ് ആസ് that when we marry a woman and uh, before developing the sexual relationship if uh, she is divorced even the door the payment of money or something we call mehr that was not fixed so what should we do if there is the need to divorce her so how can we divorce her when we have not touched her and we have not fixed the payment like we call it mehr so at the time of marriage that is written like payment in the form of jewelry in the form of some money or something so that has not been fixed so if there is need of divorce what should we do so allah tells us in this ayat la junaha alaikum it is not sinful upon you or it is not blame upon you in if talaktumun nisaa if you if you divorce the woman malam tamassu hunna even you have not touched the woman او تفردو لهن فريدا even you have not fixed the mehr or the payment or money that is fixed at the time of marriage if it has not been fixed wa matte uhun you have to give provision for them alal musi the person who is rich or wealthy he has to give qadar who according to his capacity wa alal muktiri qadar and the person who is the poor he has to pay according to his capacity مطاع ام بالمعروف it is the provision that is paid to the wife at the time of divorce must be paid according to the rules and regulation of sharia like nice way fairly haqqan alal muhsinin 
it is lawful or it is haq on the people who are muhsineen who are good doers or nice people or pious people so it is compulsory for for them to pay <coughs> So we read one time more. La junaha alaikum in talak to mun nisaa malam tamasu hunna out of redula hunna farida wa matteu hunna alal musii kadaruhu wa alal muktiri kadaru mata ambil maruf hakkan alal muhsinin. Allah tells us in this ayat it is not sinful upon you if you divorce the woman you have not touched her or not touched them so even you have not specified for them an obligation but give them a gift of compensation the rich must give it according to his capacity and the poor must give it according to his capacity a provision which is acceptable it is compulsory on the good doers In Medina, a person who was from Ansar, he married a woman from the tribe Bani Hanifa. Then uh, even he has not fixed the door like uh, the payment uh, which is written at the time of marriage, we call it Meher. So that has not been fixed and at the time of nikah so so when he married after the marriage he has not touched her but divorced her and this type of divorce was not given at that time so then Angel Jibreel came to Prophet ﷺ with the message of Allah so that we got in this uh, ayat La junaha alaikum in talak tumun nisa'a that it is not sinful upon you if you divorce the woman ma'alam tamassuhunna even you have not touched them au tafridu lahunna farida and even you have not fixed the uh, specified uh, payment uh, at the time of marriage we call it door or uh, mehr so you have not fixed Allah said you have to give some provision something to the woman uh, at the time of divorce so Alal Musi the person who is rich he has to pay it he has to give it kadaruhu according to his capacity walal muktari kadaruhu and the person who is poor he has to pay it he has to give it according to his capacity mata ambil maruf it is uh, uh, it should be paid nice way according to the rules of sharia like nice way ahqan alal muhsinin it is compulsory to pay or to give by the people who are good doers so this way it must be paid even if a person is not to pay the more things but he must pay like the clothes like the clothes a full complete one suit of clothes or so or more according to the capacity of the person and if a person is just to pay more or give more things it is good also 
because Allah has not fixed in this ayat that how much the person has to pay or how much the person has to give to the woman at the time of divorce to that woman who was not touched by the husband and uh, was not done any sexual relationship and even the door or the meher was not fixed so for that woman the person who is a rich person he has to give her something according to his capacity and the poor he has to give her according to the capacity so that is compulsory or you can say it is wajib to give them so it is very important point so so that the woman must be honored so allah give the honor to the woman also so this is the respect so we should follow the uh, commandment of allah and that is very important for us and we got here information that uh, is uh, if uh, the door or the meher uh, the payment if uh, it is not fixed at the time of marriage so the nikah is done without it also so it is possible from this ayat we understand so so we have to follow the rules regulations uh, of uh, uh, like our family life that have been described completely and fully in holy quran and also holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he has uh, given us the full detail of that one in different hadith so we have to follow that completely because these are applicable in our daily life so in our family life so we have to follow them completely so that we must be successful at the day of judgment inshallah